So last month, we spoke about the MSP signature style. And this month, we're talking timelines and how much time to allocate to each part of the wedding day so that we're able to capture the images you've always dreamed of and provide you the experience that you deserve. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Mavis. And we're at Suarez Photography. Husband and wife, wedding and portrait photography team based in South Florida. We work with modern, detail-oriented couples who want to be guided, look great, and have fun. Before we get started, it's important to remember that on wedding days, setbacks can occur. Absolutely. And this is the reason why we love to fluff our timeline. It allows us to work around the timeline, still capture these moments, and most importantly, enjoy your wedding day. Because remember, the first thing that's going to get cut out when setbacks happen is the photography time. That's right. And just a quick little thing that I want to share with you guys is our brides receive these two goodies when they book with us. And just to review it really quick because it does relate to timelines is um, they're going to have this guide for a picture perfect wedding day. And in here, it's talking about all the time that we need and what happens during each part of the wedding day. And then in here, this is a little bit thicker, and this is our MSP wedding magazine, and all of our brides get this as well. It has right. tons of information in here that we've written to kind of give you some tips to maximize us as your photographers on your wedding day and get those beautiful images that you've dreamed of. Absolutely. Now, don't forget, Every photographer may be different on the time that they require for each section. So make sure that you ask your photographer how much time they may need. When we arrive on site, the first thing that we request is the details from the bride and groom. That could be anywhere from your shoes, to your veil, to your invitations. And we prep our brides prior to the wedding day so that everything is either in a box or in a drawer, ready for us to photograph, and we spend less time looking for those items and more time photographing and styling all those beautiful details. Absolutely. And the first thing we're actually going to photograph is your wedding dress. Then we'll move over to the smaller details. Now, this is very important because 20 years down the line when you're asking yourself, what did my invitation look like? you'll have this image to be able to look back on and reminisce all those special details. Also, details are very important because it's a great way to start your story in your wedding album. Another part of the wedding day is the getting ready stage and this is a lot of fun because this it goes anywhere from candid to mock photos of hair and makeup through the celebration of the bride and the bridesmaids and their matching robes and they've got balloons and confetti and champagne fun to photograph. Absolutely. And from there, we allow the bride and the bridesmaids to change while we run over to the groom's room. And here we start with the groom by himself. We'll take some getting ready photos of him. And then we'll invite either the, the father or the best man to come in, help him out with his jacket, help him out with his boot near. And when we're done there, we'll join all the rest of the guys and have some fun photos, cheering, having a drink, just hanging out right before the ceremony. That's right, and this is a part of the day that I think we do a little bit different than most photographers. Usually, um, what we hear or what we hear is that the bride stays with one photographer and the groom stays with the other. But for us, we really like the way that we set it up because we're able to give the bridesmaids and the bride enough time to change and not have to rush them at all. And at the same time, we're being efficient by photographing the groom and the groomsmen. Absolutely. And this is actually um, another thing that, that kind of helps us out is if we're running late by any chance, here we'll go ahead and flop it over where we have the groomsmen get ready a little sooner, allowing the brides and the bridesmaids, if they're running late with their makeup, to go ahead and continue doing that. We'll shoot the grooms and the groomsmen and then we'll come back to the bride and bridesmaid. Again, just a little backup plan in our timeline so we're able to you know, still capture those special moments and yet stay on time and enjoy your wedding day. Next, we're gonna talk about the bridal portraits. Yep, during the bridal portrait time, we finish you getting ready. So that means putting on your earrings, spraying your perfume, buttoning your shoes, and we bring mom in to do that last zip up or that last bow on your dress. Now we all know how long it can take to put on a wedding dress and how unflattering all of those undergarments might be. 
So instead of us actually taking photos of you getting ready and into your dress, what we do is that we pretend. So once your dress is zipped 99% of the way, we have mom just place her hand there, or once the bow is perfectly done on your corset, we have mom just extend the ends of the bow. And that's really, really important because we want it to look beautiful and elegant and not so much all the faja going on. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And then we invite the bridesmaids to come on over and just pamper you and, you know, we'll put some uh, up top, some on the bottom, kind of fluffing your dress. And it's just a great moment to have some detail with you and your bridesmaids. After that, if you decide that you want to have a first look with dad or maybe some gifting, this is where we will build that in into the timeline, which might take a little bit more of your time, but it's totally worth it. We ask our couples all the time when their ceremony space will be available and ready. And we do that because a lot of the times you guys will want a beautifully untouched, decorated ceremony space with no one there. But in order to do that, we need to build in about one to two hours before the ceremony actually occurs so that we have enough time to photograph that and can adequately fit it into the schedule. And if we can't accommodate that time, then no worries. 30 minutes before your ceremony, we normally give you guys a break to just breathe and kind of take it all in. And in the meanwhile, we'll be taking photos at your ceremony and kind of working around your guests. If you decide on having a first look, which we totally recommend, then we will take you guys and instruct you on what to do and stand a bit from afar so that you guys can have your personal private moment in seeing each other for the first time. Now, a lot of couples are doubting whether or not to do a first look. We absolutely understand this is a new tradition that's happening. And here are some of the points that we feel it's, it's very important. First, um, the first look we, it, is provided in a very intimate setting where you're gonna see your bride and you're gonna see your groom for the first time without the pressure of walking down and just having everyone look at you. Uh, <laughs> I laugh because oh. <laughs> David didn't want to do a first look, and so he's speaking from experience right now. He's telling you all of these points because he sure. had to go through it. So I'm sorry, David, you can continue. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I actually would love to go back in time and be able to have that first look because um, on, on the day of our wedding, walking down the aisle, having her walk down, worrying about, you know, everyone's in the right place, is everyone good? And it was just, there was a lot of worry um, that we had. And so I think a first look would have gave us that intimate moment where we didn't have to worry about anything else but the fact that I was gonna see my future wife for the first time, right? So um, that's one of the main reasons that we like it. Now there's a couple others, um, two, is the timeline. It totally helps for you to be able to enjoy a little bit of that cocktail time. Um, I know a lot of brides and grooms are not able to do that if they don't have a first look because you have to do so many other things right after the ceremony, right? So this definitely helps for you to be able to choose and enjoy either cocktail time or one of the other sections that we will talk about a little later, which is the room review. And third, and this is also actually a very good point, is that if there is a if you're getting married on a rainy day right or looking cloudy this is the perfect way for you to earlier be able to capture some of those bride and room uh bride and groom portraits and if it does start raining later on which obviously we're hoping it doesn't but if it does you already have a couple portraits together so definitely helps us out in the timeline we're able to control that scenario much better and and definitely more portrait. So this is um, the reasons why we love to do first stuff. Another part of your day would be the bridal party and the family formal. This is a very traditional part of the wedding day and um, we're able to photograph all of the members in the bridal party as well as your immediate family and maybe some extended family, all depending on how many groupings we have because it does take quite a bit of time. Absolutely. Normally we narrow it down to parents from both sides and maybe uh, grandparents from both sides and that's it for the immediate family and then your court. Depending if you have 
you know, two bridesmaids, two groomsmen versus nine bridesmaids and nine groomsmen, the timeline might be a little different. So those are some things for your bridal party and immediate family to keep in mind. Another part of your wedding day is your ceremony. Now, this can take anywhere from 30 to about 60 minutes, all depending on the type of ceremony that we're having. Keep in mind you want to practice going in and especially going out of the church. And at this point is where you want to consider whether or not you're going to be having a receiving line. Now, a receiving line is basically where everyone lines up to receive you and they've got bubbles or they've got rice or they've got flower petals and they kind of just throw all this at you. <laughs> and it's a very traditional thing to do. But if we want to do this, we have to account for the time and logistics it's going to take for us to accomplish and photograph that. That's right. And just to walk you through what that looks like, basically when the ceremony is over, the bride and groom is going to walk out and then you're going to sneak back in. The family and guest is going to walk out as well and kind of create that line that she's talking about. And then you're going to walk out again. And that's when everyone's going to throw either um, uh, rice or flower petals or blow little bubbles at you. And this is a great connection actually to what follows, which would be the group photo. So the group photo is an MSP signature, something we've been doing with our couples, and we absolutely love it because we're able to photograph everyone at once on their way to cocktail. And that way, we don't have to worry if later on in the reception we don't get a picture with Uncle Bob or Tia Mari because in this one group photo, we're going to be able to have everyone together. That's right. And what we try to consider is basically we look at where the ceremony is to where the cocktail is, right? And then through that logistics of walking there, we look for anywhere that's elevated because in order to get everyone's face very clear, we like to go to like a second floor where everyone's looking up and like that we could capture everyone that's there with you guys. Another part of your day is the room reveal. And what this is, is when we go with the bride and groom to the untouched reception space and take some photos of the details as well as them in their room. And this is the perfect moment to see all of your hard work and all of the little details and decisions come to life. One of our favorite parts of the wedding day is the couple's portraits. Although, we must say, we pretty much enjoy your entire wedding day <laughs> and we love to hang out with you guys. So during the couple's portraits, you'll come with us and we will go to certain areas in your venue or on the site and we're basically going to create some beautiful, memorable and romantic images of you guys keeping in mind your personality and your love story. The great thing is that during our walkthrough, we're going to know exactly where we need to be on that day because we like to be efficient and shoot with a purpose. During the reception, we'll be photographing the major events like your grand entrance, your first dance, the father-daughter dance, mother-son, and other things like toasts and special activities. And depending on the time of the year and the time of your ceremony, we might be able to sneak out and take some sunset portraits. If you're having a special exit, like maybe you're leaving in a cool getaway car or you're lighting lanterns and letting them go, we definitely want to know about this because we want to build it right into your photography timeline. And depending on your photo coverage, we can either stay till the end of your wedding or we can do a mock exit where we're able to stage what's going to happen at the end of your wedding and like that, you don't have to extend your photo coverage. So the wedding day has finished, but that doesn't mean that portraits have to. So we do offer post-wedding sessions, and what that is, is basically on a different day of your wedding, we go ahead and go two to four hours, and we're able to take some portraits that we wouldn't normally be able to take on your wedding day because of all the time and logistics restrictions. The idea is to have some fun. So one of the most common ones that's happening now is trash the dress. We don't necessarily need to go trash the dress, but we could definitely have some creative shots. An example of that would be renting a jet ski and, and having uh, you go down the beach and us capturing that moment, or even going on top of a cliff and jumping into the water. So we could definitely take out some time to brainstorm what ideas you guys would like to do. That wraps up all the different parts to a wedding day, which you can now use to build your ideal timeline. And remember, all timelines are different and unique to your wedding wants and needs. And we really want to be able to help and guide you. So we created some sample timelines for you. All you have to do is go to the link in our bio and click on that. 
Now, we included four timelines with first look, without first look, and at different times of the year. So you can get a good idea of what your wedding day is gonna look like if you want all those different parts included. So those timelines are the ideal timeline for the bride who wants it all. We hope that this video has helped you understand what we need in order to make sure that we get the images you've always dreamed of and the experience that you deserve. If you have any questions, guys, remember to reach out and let us know if we can help. Cheers. Cheers. Hi. <laughs> what? It was your turn. Really? Que me pasa? No sé, mom. Another part of your day. So, that. <laughs> For a better once at all, would be this. You know what I'm saying? All right. No. Yeah, all good. All good. Take four. You forget to take photos of. And not only that, but no. Yeah. Ooh, we are killing it today. Hi, mister. I'm going to be rude. And then I'm a video pro. Take one. Oh. <laughs> Before we get started. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's such a good team. Uh, it'll be a perfect time to put it in then. <laughs> good time. You're supposed to speak about the magazine. I know, I forgot. So oh. I just... Take a three or four? Let's go with four. Remember, Kelvin. It's like, a, he's like, again? <laughs> I'm gonna learn this. Uh, mm, I don't know. Start again. Yeah, I'll go into it a little bit. Okay, got it. All right, by the way, we just killed it and we weren't recording. So, we're gonna kill it again. Here we, we go. go. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Mm. 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 Mm.